What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, John for the Game of Duty here. We're welcoming you back to some more Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. And in the last episode of this series, we, you know, discovered that there's going to be a 16th student, as you guys already talked about and we already talked about. There is going to be a... We figured out Alter Ego, which is something that Chihiro left behind for us to make sure to see if there was an escape route and everything, but we have to hide that from Monokuma, because if Monokuma sees it, Monokuma will just break the laptop, and we're not gonna let that happen, are we? So, let's carry on. Uh, the, everybody wanted us to meet for uh, breakfast in the morning, per our usual routine, so let's go on and do that. Let's see what everybody has to say. Oh, cool, we actually have options here. So with these options, I'm gonna talk to the people then, I think. Good morning, Sakura. Mm. Did you just wake up? Yeah, I'm waking up for a breakfast meeting is fine, of course, but getting up a little earlier, a little early is better. You can exercise in your room till the nighttime ends. A big meal after a workout or working up a sweat is divine. Hi, Hina. Hey, Makoto. Hey, I'm Marty Makoto. Good morning. You're kind of sweaty. Have you been exercising? Right. Yup, me and Sakura are doing our morning workout. Oh, but I didn't break our nighttime promise. I just ran around the room until it ended. So, why don't you come with us next time? I don't think that I could help you with you and Sakura. Huh? Ah, seriously? Ah. Okay, then. We can do something in the rec room. I'm not too good at much, but um, I, I, I know how to play Othello. Uh, I'm not very good at it either, though. Uh, I don't like to think that I'm playing, or I like to think when I'm playing. So, um, okay. I mean, I love you, too. I love you both. Um, stay good to me. I know that the dining hall is technically our objective here. Like, oh, is it not going to let us? Ah, oh, we don't have any room to explore right now. I think if I go over here, it'll be like, you're not allowed to go here. Dang it. I wanted to get the presents for free time, but apparently not. I don't have any reason to go to the school area. Yep, 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 yep. I had a feeling. I wanted to go get the presents while we were here. Apparently, I have to do that off screen. No, I, I should do that on screen, but, like, have a montage of it, I think. But. Could it be? So, the people here today are the same as yesterday. Just a seven. Mm. Bayakia and Toko are lost cause, but. Well. It looks like Taka decided to stop coming for good, too. <sighs> it's like he's just given up. For people wound, uh, for people wound as tight as he wound. Oh, wound! For people wound as tight as he is, when you snap, you snap hard. I wish there was a way, some way to make him better, though. Mm. On another topic, Kyoko, did everything go all right last night? Indeed. Yes, I did not have any problems. Correct. I went and checked the laptop a little while ago, and there wasn't any problems there either. But Kyoko seemed to hesitate. But. <sighs> It's related to the case, so I suppose I should be blunt. Anyway. I have to make a new rule. Using Alter Ego without permission is prohibited. Someone going in and out of the dressing room would draw unwanted attention from the mastermind. Oh. I would have thought that it would be obvious. Why do we need to make a rule about it? Well. That's a good question. Hey. Do you have any thoughts on that, Hufimi? Oh. Um. Oh! Call the fuck out! Let's go! Yes, Kyoko! Uh, this is why I love you! No, no, no. Um, it's just like you said. We need to be very careful. Uh, uh. Huh? Whatever. Let's just hurry up and eat. We don't have time to stand flapping our lips. Jeez. Why are you talking like a pissed off drill sergeant all of a sudden? Since he got caught? Yes! We ate breakfast in a rush, then headed back to our room. Now we're in free time. There's what we were looking for. Okay. I you okay. So the reason why I know the, the reason why I know we're in free time is you can hear the jingle. Um and I know that it's kind of quiet on your guys' end. Um but yeah, I can hear the jingle and that's what's causing that. So present time. Okay, so Shaisul um which is the person who is sometimes in call with me but like Honestly, I've loved the way that they've been doing it. So, Shysol and KD have been with me while I 
um, record these episodes sometimes. They're not with me today, but they're they always are muted and they're trying to like uh, like look at what I'm doing. Like they're they're like my backup people. They're they're here they're here for me, and I'm here for them. So we we stand each other. But what they had said right was that. I, free time kind of marks that halfway point of the chapter before you hit deadly life. So free time is where we want to like explore, we want to do things and all that. But let's go ahead and use the machine and so see if we can get like some good pulls here. And also, we don't have to... We can use multiple coins. So that's why we're being getting so much from the objective. Got an item. That is not a repeat item. Lucky. Oh my god. First turn, lucky. Let's go. Double new, double new, double new, double new. Let's go. Uh, double new. But yeah, like I said, I want to get every item. Like, I want to have every item in the game. And I think I can do it. Oh my gosh, another double luck. Whoa! Why are we getting lucky all of a sudden? Hello? Oh my gosh, that's like a, re a recycling bin. That looks cool. But yeah, once my bar gets to kind of like 20%-ish is when I should start thinking about doing the double coins. Because having a... Having a 1 in 5 chance fe feels like a bad situation for us. Ah, uh, so far it's going well, actually. I think we might actually collect every item in the game. See, there you go. There's a repeat. But we got lucky! Oh! That's not a repeat. That is a repeat. Okay. I was like, that. I remember that. I remember that, but we utilized that. Nice. New items. 26% chance of a repeat now. I was like, we didn't give that to anybody. That That is a repeat item. That is not, though. Yeah, it's not even that much of a difference, really. Like, I almost think using the one to try and collect them all is almost a better strategy. Because now we're at 30%. Oh! It shook. I noticed that. What is going on? Why did it do that? That's a red, like, a red jacket thing. Lucky! Let's go! New item, new item, new item, new item. A bottle of water. Okay. I'll take that, actually. That's also not a repeat. Whoa. We're, I feel like we're getting lucky on the poles right now. That, I think, is a repeat item. It is. Okay. I was like, I remember that one. Okay, we already have that. Yeah, see, now it's like a one in three chance of getting a repeat. So now we might start needing one to do the doubles. Mmm. Glasses, those are nice. We can hand those to somebody who needs them. Like Ifumi, if we really wanted to. Get him some cool nerd glasses, especially now that we have two of them. See, it's like we're. It's weird though, because we're getting a lot of stuff for Hifumi, it feels like. So, oh, that's for Toko. That's for Toko. More like Genocide Jill, but still. Ah, uh, that's also for Hifumi, I think. That was a weird item. I don't like that item. <laughs> I'm not a fan of that. Oh, that's a... Jeez.
We already have that. We've got that's like the most common item we've gotten, I think. Lucky. There we go. Still maintaining the most common item. That's new. 40% chance of repeat. Honestly, from that point... Oh, that was not a repeat. I thought it was. Oh, that's, that's actually really cute. Hello? Oh, we had that already. Okay. I think once we hit 50% is what I should probably... Probably should call it. I'm like, we're already close to that marker. Whoa! Uh, Stop giving us those kind of provocative items, Monokuma. Oh, that's a baseball. I wonder if the items differ per, um... Oh my gosh, that's another cool item. If they differ per chapter. That's what I was going to say. Because, like, oh, that's another one. See, like, I feel like I'm gambling and I shouldn't be. It's also a newbie item. No, it's not. Okay. Yeah, we got a bunch of items for free time. We'll leave the area. Now let's figure out who the heck we're talking to, because we can talk to a bunch of people. Nobody's here. Ah, they're all on the, the third floor. Yeah, they literally are all on the third floor. Okay. Who do I hang out with? Toko. You know what? I think this is now where I have to start hanging out with Kyoko a little bit. I haven't been touching Kyoko. I've been very nervous and worried about Kyoko. I think now is when I have to let those nerves go away. And I have to talk to Kyoko. So, Kyoko is going to be my number one for this, for the first free time. I have to put all my energy into watching out for myself, or for myself. I don't have any time to worry about anyone else. Correct. You want to spend time with me today? However... But I don't have anything to say. Are you okay with that? Absolutely. I'd actually almost prefer that. I spent some time with Kyoko in silence. Kyoko and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Kyoko a present? Yes. Here, have some mineral water. Yeah, here you go. Correct. Are you sure about this? Sorry. Does it mean she liked it? Are you scared, Makoto? Huh? Hey. 
being trapped here in a place like this. Who, who wouldn't be? Of course I'm scared of being trapped in this insane school. Correct. Ah, that's good. That's good. So... Fear is proof that your imagination is functioning. Frankly, I would feel bad for anyone who can't, or who can't feel fear. Without imagination, you can never deduce which action to take next. But what about you? You two seem totally calm. You don't act afraid at all. Wrong. I'm scared too, of course. I simply hide my emotions. There's no advantage to be gained from letting others see how you feel. You hide, huh? Correct. What I mean is, I'm not foolishly open. I'm not as foolishly open as you are. Foolishly open. Listen. Also, the fear I experience is a little different from yours, I imagine. Huh? What do you mean? So... You're afraid of what you might lose, right? Correct. But I'm afraid of what I've already lost. I'm sorry, but I don't understand. <laughs> I know. She didn't bother answering any further questions. She just turned Goodbye. and... that she was gone well we were still just getting to know each other maybe it'll take more time I don't understand her yet at all but Kyoko's report card has been updated based off of your experience with her your maximum number of skill points has increased look at you go once we're all done I headed back to my room for a little while Still got time. Who should I go talk to? Ding dong. Sounds like somebody's here. Who hath who hath arrived? Da, da, da. Taka. Da, 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 da. Is it true? Can I really see Jihiro? Huh? You mean alter ego? He's still alive. No, not 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 quite. Not quite. Let me see. I want to talk to him. Taka. The way he is now, there's no way I can explain what's going on to him. Kyoko said we're not allowed to use alter ego, but even so. I can't just leave him here like this. Okay, why don't we get going? No, 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 no. Why, 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 why are we doing this? I would rather leave him to die. And break the rules, cause I'm not a rule breaker. Oh no 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 Kyoko save me save me Kyoko tell this guy not to do anything I want to hang out with you and not do what I'm supposed to do for the story 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 no 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 why did our character play Lilani Kyoko? No 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 Oh my god Why 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 Okay so there's a laptop inside the locker, understand? And the laptop has a program called Alter Ego. How do I? Talk to him. Oh, um, well, you just tell me what you want to say and I'll type it in for you. Do you hate Mondo? And since I couldn't stop him, do you hate me? It was clear he was forcing himself to get th those words out. From his mouth at the bottom of his heart, he was forced his weakened voice to make silly sounds. Please. Okay. And then... Do you hold yourself responsible? But... If Master could talk now, I think that is what he would say. Please live your life for the both of us. It is impossible for me now, but you can still survive and escape, all of you. Hey, Taka. I was about to say more, but 
quickly close my mouth. The one asking the questions is Taka, right? Analyzing all available data, that's the only conclusion I have come to. Um. Master told me how close Taka and Amanda had become. And that's why he feels responsible. The screen suddenly went dark. And what appeared next was... You're letting yourself get crushed under the weight of the responsibility, are you? Yo. A man's only worth as much as the load of he, that he, he can carry. You get it right, bro. The hell am I saying? Of course you do. Th that's... No. I I'm sorry if I had startled you. It was my attempt at simulation using data about Mondo Master had given me. I figured Taka was depressed and the kind of thing Mondo would say have said to him. Yo. So you're just going to stand there, huh? Just wait. Things are going to get better. Just take your time and get all depressed. Just take the time and indulge your regrets. You might have you might even start walking again without realization of it. Sure, that kind of as mediocre thinking might work for some people. <laughs> what if I said it with some condescending tone? Uh, uh, yeah, Taka. Uh, it started to sink in. The way a bucket full of water sinks into a bone dry sponge. Huh? Those words, deep within my heart, they're inside of me. Whoa! 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 Taka? Who the fudge is Taka? Your eyes. Hey, don't worry about it. I guess I caused kind of a scene. Shoot, man. And your voice. I'm a new me! <laughs> I'm totally stuffed with the fighting spirit now, you dumb butt. Oh, okay, Taka. Could just calm down, buddy. I am calm, and you don't call me Taka. That's not my name anymore. It's me. I am me. Taka let out a bone chilling howl as he ran out of the room. Hey, Toka, ho Taka, hold on. And I took out after him, but somebody stood in my way. As if tagging Taka out, she walked briskly into the dressing room. This is why we don't mess with Kyoko. Just a second. What do you think you're doing? Ky Kyoko. Oh, um, no. See, this is just... Enough already. Don't go around doing whatever you feel like. It causes, pro it causes problems, and not for just me, for everyone. S -s sorry. Correct. If you are really sorry, you'll get out of here now. Okay. Finally, I headed back to my room and... Embarrassed and sullen. But still, what was with Taka's sudden freak out? I'm s seriously worried about him. <clears throat> As such, soon the doors to the diet. Okay then. Sorry I skipped Monokuma's line, but it literally is the same line every time. I feel like you guys would appreciate that more than listening to the same line constantly. You want to know why I hate playing video games? You might not believe this, but I had a best friend once. Actually, he was like my only friend, but unlike me, he had all kinds of friends. So me and him were at his house one day when a big group of guys showed up to hang out. They would just... Or, they just bought the latest budget, big budget video game. They sat there, lost in the game, passing the controller back and forth for hours. But not me. I just sat there watching. That's right. I watched. What's wrong with that? I didn't care. But by watching, I was able to nail down all the best strategies. Even though I actually never played the game. I plan on ever playing it in the future either. Oh my goodness. Good morning, everyone. It is yet ready to... Oh, boy. All right. I need to hurry up and get to the dining hall. I need everyone... To, I need to tell everyone what happened with Taka yesterday. Yeah, because, I don't know, you might have just, like, you know, destroyed the world or anything. That's fine, though. We literally gave Kyoko mineral water as a present, and here you go. Ruining that. Here, Kyoko, let me talk to you. And, like, try and, like, get to you before, you know, anything happens, you know. Before I just break the rules. You know, 
Yo, I've been waiting. Huh? Are you the only one here? Where's everyone else? They went on ahead. Went on ahead where? Hey, come we on. can talk about it later, but for now, let's go take a bath. Bath? Yeah, someone help! Hey, Fumi, what's going on? Makoto, save me! I've never asked you for anything, but I'm asking now! What happened? <laughs> She's trying to kill me! Hey, Fumi pointed at Kyoko. Huh? Kyoko's trying to kill you. I never said I was going to kill him. I simply asked him a question. Like, I'd like to know where he made the same mistake twice. The same mistake? What did he do? So... He snuck into the dressing room in the middle of the night and accessed Alter Ego without permission. And when I caught him last night, he was hugging the laptop and breathing strangely. Huh? Whoa, 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 what were you doing? I thought I made myself clear yesterday, but since being subtle didn't work, I suppose I have to clar my clarify myself further. Yeah, please don't kill me. Mom. I'm not going to kill you. Mer merely instruct you. Oh, fairies. Mm. Um, Havumi, could you tell me what well. happened? Well, well, I was just, uh, I was just talking. Which is prohibited, was it not? <laughs> I mean, you see, talking to her is just so much fun. Uh, and I, I just... Um. Whoa, okay. Time out. I can't believe I'm about to ask this, but... Hafumi, you're not gonna tell us you fell in love or something, are you? Mm -hmm. Huh? That I... The cold-blooded killing machine of an underworld would have fallen in love? That's... Well, wait, no seem... way. It is, is, is this love? According to the spirits... I happened to do a psychic reading for a certain famous CEO once, and the guy was seriously head over heels for a mannequin. He had a wedding and everything. How about that? And our eyes just now, I saw... The same in, in your eyes just now. I saw the same look in his eyes. Shut up! She's not a mannequin. She's an angel. I and I that. don't bother telling me angels exist. What we have can't be defined by your petty words. <sighs> yeah, you're totally in love. Uh, so how did it end up like this? Well, at the beginning, I just wanted to say, her here, oh my god, ew, okay, carry on, I just wanted to hear her say master one more time, but then I was poking around at her settings and stuff and saw she was a whale designed program, and it was like, how can I say, it was like the first time I, I was able to talk like that with a normal girl. But she's definitely not a normal girl, Ifumi. Even when I all we did was talk about my hobbies and stuff, she wasn't annoyed or disgusted or anything. <laughs> Your stories are interesting, Ifumi. Come on, tell me more. I want to learn everything you can teach me. I suppose. That was the first time a girl had said anything like that to me besides my mom, I mean... <sighs> Your mom says that stuff like that to you? That's kind of amazing all by itself. <laughs> That's why I was just so happy. It was so much fun. And before I knew it, I found myself, you know, liking her. Her face, her personality, her voice, and even her keyboard. No. Even the keyboard? <sighs> I think you have misunderstood the situation, Ifumi. Are you okay with this? Alter Ego was not interested in who you were. It was interested in what you knew. It's an artificial intelligence. It exists to learn. Of course it wanted to hear things it did not know. You are exp an expert in many things Jahiro could not have been taught uh, could not have taught it about. For what that is worth. Honestly. Alter Ego wants that information. That's all. I know that. I, I know. I mean, I do know that, but still. 
Are you saying that it's totally hopeless? Uh, you've got to be freaking kidding me! Hey, you jerk sitting here listening to you jibber jabber with um, on about whatever. Yo. Oh, Taka, you're back. <laughs> Who the hell is Taka? Huh? Um, y you. <laughs> Listen up. I'm me. I got it. What the heck? Huh? You're. Who? What? Don't bullcrap me. Isn't it obvious? I am Kiyotaka and Mondo. It is like Kiyotondo, I guess. And I am gonna stick a banana up your tailpipe. What, what? what the? What the heck kind of fusion is this? What happened to you, Taka? Actually, I told everyone what happened the day before. Well, then. So it was because Alter Ego said it to him. Um... Are you sure it was Alter Ego's fault? Maybe Mondo's ghost showed and up and possessed him. Ghost? No, 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 there's, 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 there's no such thing. What the hell are you whining about? Come on! What? God, you're really chasing me off. Hey, hey, Fumi. What? Yes? Yeah. I don't know what you're thinking about, but bro belongs to me. Huh? Yeah. Alter Ego, he's an exact copy of the one who gave me my soul back. I am not going to let anyone else here ever have him again, you fudging idiot. <sighs> I, I'm afraid I can't allow that. What? So it would seem. I can't withdraw. Mr. Ishimaru, since I have this opportunity, let me say this right now. Destiny has bound me and her together into the Gordian knot of true love. Well, me and him have been melded together in the white hot heat of friendship. Hey, come on, you guys. Moron, talk down to me, and I'll ram my fist right into your all four of your vital points. Well, I punch at the speed of sound, and I don't have any arm hair to so there is no drag. Enough already. Knock it off, both of you. Hey. This doesn't belong to any one person. Chihira left him to all of us. And we can ha we can use him to finally gain access to vital clues. Mm. Kyoko's right. If anyone dares disturb our peace any further, hey. they'll have to deal with me. What? Anyway. Until Alter Ego has finished his work, do not do anything weird. Have I made myself clear? So? I can't hear you. I... Yeah, yes. Yeah. G got it. So then... Okay, then. Let's get out of here. We can't afford to linger too long. Hey. Are you sure it's okay to let them off of the warning? Indeed. Yes. I have a plan. It'll be fine. After watching Ifumi and Taka leave dejected, we all went back to our rooms. More free time. It's still morning. And because of that, because of everything that's happened, I'm tired already. Well, anyway, I have to more myself together. What should I do with the rest of my day? We have one more free time, and then the end of the episode. So, let's see who we uh, decide to hang out with. I think I kind of want to hang out with Taka now. Because I think at this point in the story, I think Taka might give us a different ability for talking to Taka. Where is Taka? Is he just hanging out in one of the rooms over here? Yes. I'm not Taka. Yes, you are. Until further notice, your name is still Taka. <laughs> Hi, Sakura. I know I said I was going to hang out with you and you were going to be a person of interest, but I'm sorry to say this, but uh, Taka has just kind of become more interesting for now, which I guess is the point. Hi, Genocide Jill. Actually, hmm. No. I'm, I'm dead set on my plan. And I haven't actually hung out. Oh, no, I have hung out with Taka once. So this will be my second time ever hanging out with Taka. I guess with that, I could have hang, hung out with uh, Hina, but... I don't know. I just like being dominated. It's fine. What? You got something to say to me? Well, I ain't gonna get... Got poop to say to you. Maybe I should leave him alone. <gasps> I'm not allowed to talk to him. Oh, I'm upset. I'm actually yeah. upset. No! Fine. Okay. Second plan, then. Hi, Hina. How are you doing today? Um, you're right here, actually. I didn't even realize that you were right there. Cool. Hi, Hina. Hi. Oop. The uh, opposite of possible is isn't impossible. It's challenging. Mm. 
That's a quote from a famous baseball player, Jackie Robinson. And we have to remember, this is, is just a challenge. We can't give up. Hmm. Yes. Hi, Hina. We should hang out. Okay. Want to go for a walk? I don't care where to. Although, no matter where we go, we're going to be stuck in this stupid school anyway. Hey, hey, a walk is a walk is a walk. We can hang out and walk, and I don't care. Hina and I walked aimlessly around the school. Hina and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Hina a present? Yes. What would you like to give to Hina? What do we have to give to Hina? A brand name diamond popular for engagement rings. Although, this one is just an imitation ring. A water lover. A competition swimsuit for women. It yes. Here, have this. Hey, hey, how thoughtful. Is this why I like you, Makoto? Or I mean, uh, it's not like that. No, no, that I kind of like. Seeing Hina so pleased with something I gave her makes me happy. Hmm. Oh man, oh man, what's up? Okay. I'm getting totally fired up. What? How come? <laughs> How come does it matter? Now that I'm revved up, I need to get out and let's race. I don't think that's a good idea. I wouldn't stand a chance anyway. That's right. Really? Well, I don't mind a solo run. Well, hold on. You always seem excited, Hina. What's your deal? Uh, are you making fun of me? No, I'm just impressed. Mm. Really? I used to be this one guy. I used to know this one guy. He was like, Hina, you're like a super spaz. Super spaz. Yeah. Yeah, like, he'd be wearing shorts in the winter, and he'd say stuff like that. Mm. But if you lose to the cold like that, it just means you weren't dedicated enough. Wow, you did that stuff like that, and you didn't get sick? You got it all Getting wrong. sick is for the weak. If you're really dedicated, winter means just even lighter clothes. Uh, it's all part of your training. Training, huh? Mm. So, like, you're the type of guy who gets sick easy? Actually, yeah. Mm. See, you're soft. You need more training. Okay. Okay, I've got a perfect remedy to help someone like you fit in the fit as a fiddle. Huh? What kind of remedy? Yeah. Actually, I do it like myself every morning. You just strip down to your waist and then take a dry towel and start rubbing your bare skin. I call it. I call it a... Yeah. What do I call it again? A way to keep healthy by stripping down and rubbing a towel across your skin. Let me take a shot at this. Towel treatment? It's something like towel treatment. You got it. Oh my god, yeah, that's it! I love going down to my apartment balcony, stripping down, and feeling the wind on my skin. God, it feels amazing. I never let a morning pass without getting a good rub down. Wait, so you went on your balcony and stripped down? And you were okay with that? <laughs> you should give it a try if you haven't got, gotten your health. Or if, if you haven't gotten your health, you haven't gotten anything. I hate to see you catch a cold or something. He has report card has been updated. Back, your maximum skill points has increased. After being introduced to a unique sickness prevention method, I went back to my room. And and it's over, right? Free time's over. No, it is not. Never mind. I said we had one free time and we're ending it. No, we have another one. My apologies. Actually, no, not my apologies. This is a good spot to end. We're 40 minutes in. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you guys in the next one where we take on another free time segment and other things that are to come. Love you all, and see you guys then. Bye!